that wonderful um, introduction and for blessing this event. And truly, if ever there was a time for the need for courage and for justice in our province, it is right now, and that battle is going to be right here in Chilliwack Hope. I have to say that I feel thrilled right now. There's no fear in this woman. If anything, there's excitement. And you're a part of that. This energy in this room is motivating me to work harder, work stronger, faster, and dedicate my all. Yay. And uh, I want to also thank those who are already involved at this moment in time. Where's Michael Sather? Right there at the back. So uh, Michael Sather showed up yesterday to do some door knocking, and uh, he's an experienced MLA. And uh, when he showed up, of course, we have, you know, our weather that we get out here in the valley. <laughs> that exciting weather. And he looked at uh, Wyatt uh, and, uh, and I and said, gee, you, you guys are surprisingly dry. And I said, well, um, here in the valley, you get a hair wash and a blow dry. <laughs> and he looked puzzled, but, you know, about ten minutes later, he really got what we were talking about. <laughs> So that's what it's going to take, folks. It's going to take a concerted effort, uh, and it, not only by Michael Sather, who came out and volunteered, but also the other MLAs. Um, we have Mr. Rotley out there, who came to Hope, and uh, <laughs> you got off easy, Michael. We were in snow and sled, <laughs> but I have to give honors to Claire Trevina because you know she's from the island. She knows how to fight hard in that kind of weather. She brought her boots and gloves. And <laughs> Today. Um, yeah, for sure. We are going to throw on our disco boots and paint this town orange. <laughs> but now, I would be remiss. Um, there is another friend I need to mention, a person who has visited this area numerous times and has been uh, instrumental. A friend who has um, listened to the constituents, listen to organic farmers, persons who are, um, have approached me in regards to our health care needs, such as dialysis, a person who has visited numerous times already and we will uh, see uh, regularly on a regular basis. This person, this good friend, of course, being Adrian Dix. <laughs> canvas all day and, and uh, you do get some pleasure and why it's chuckling over there because it is an enjoyable, it is really actually quite enjoyable at the end of the day. But last night was a little bit special because the organic farmers invited me back to listen to a Cuban band and of course I could not pass that up. So um, I went back after Adrian had spoke there in the morning with Lana Hoffman. She ran No, she left yesterday. She left, oh, okay, so Lana was here as well. And uh, of course, you're in a relaxed environment, we're listening to the jazzy music of the Cuban band and enjoying ourselves and uh, just chatting one-on-one. -on -one. And the organic farmer said, you know, we really admired what Adrian had to say and his message and how he focused on policy and how he was upbeat and we are excited that he is going to be our future premier. Yeah. <laughs> friends with us, you know. Where's Norm Macdonald? Norm Macdonald, he's not yeah. impressed. Uh, Norm is our forestry critic. 